Hey guys, it's Dr. Carrie here from CJP Team Pilates in downtown Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We've been talking a lot about knee pain lately because we're getting ready to give our free masterclass for knee pain sufferers. So one of the topics that's been coming up a lot lately is PRP. For those of you that don't know what that means, it is platelet-rich plasma injections. It's a procedure where they take your own blood, they spin it, and kind of turn it into what I call super blood, which it's like super concentrated with all the really good stuff in your blood that is designed to help you heal. So what they do is they take that blood, they inject it into the injured area. So if it's your knee, they'll, they'll put it right into your knee joint. And it's supposed to help accelerate healing of structures, even arthritis, things like that. It's actually a great procedure, but I'm not necessarily a fan of it being the first procedure you get because it is invasive, it is expensive, and it can take a long time to even see if it works. A lot of people have to wait six months just to see if it works. So the one complaint I've heard is a lot of our patients come in, they try tried it, they spent a lot of money on it, and it didn't work. Or they did it, they did a couple injections, and then the problem came back a few years later. So I wrote an article for you about it that talks a little bit more about PRP, who it's good for, how it works, but I also talk about some precursors that are really good to try that haven't necessarily been as popular as PRP, but they've come to market in recent years because people are getting more and more interested in doing things that are healthy and that work with their body's own natural ability to heal. So what I'm talking about is regenerative therapy. PRP is in the family of regenerative therapy. It's just a step up. It's a little more invasive than something like shockwave therapy or what we have in our office called EMTT, which is extracorporeal magnetotransduction therapy. Long fancy word for high frequency magnetic energy. So in our office, we use shockwave therapy and EMTT combined to help do a lot of the same things PRP does, except it's non-invasive and you see results a lot faster. So it's a, it's a really good first step for a lot of people before jumping into something that's more invasive and more expensive than PRP because at least if it doesn't work, then you can make a better decision about getting that PRP instead of the other way around. And then when I was doing research for the article, I also learned that let's say you do get PRP, something like shockwave therapy can actually help the PRP work better too. So they're really interesting stuff. I wrote an article for you if you want to check it out, especially if you're interested in getting PRP. It's a good, always a good idea to just learn as much as you can and be the most informed you can be before you jump into the procedure. Let me know what you think. I hope it helps. Hope you guys are having a great day.